Hello, this is Patrick with Trusty Huckster Mercantile. Got a slightly different view coming to you today because I'm doing a slightly different video. Uh, it's pretty much amazing the way the vintage community has responded to my upcoming fundraiser for the Just One More Docks and Rescue. That's J-O-M-D-R dot org. And on November 12th, I will be doing a fundraiser as a part or in place of my traditional live sale on Thursday nights. Uh, and all monies collected during that live sale will be donated to JOMDR. And as word of that got out, people started sending me items to sell during the live sale. And I just wanted to give a quick overview of uh, some of the items that I've been receiving and a preview what will be being part of the uh, fundraiser on Thursday night, November 12th. So let's take a look. So first, from Vintagerous Vintage in Canada, uh, Joni has uh, sent items across the border into uh, my ownership, and these items will all be going in as part of the fundraiser. Uh, we've got this great uh, pitcher, uh, drip glaze, uh, pottery. I looked at that mark. I recognize the mark, and I haven't researched it yet. I need to relook that one up. Uh, I want to say it is a German mark, but I need to re-verify that. Uh, but it's a great looking and a good sized picture. And uh, this item will be in the live sale. And she knows me very well. So she included all kinds of uh, a set of some coasters, some silver plated coasters uh, with a nice uh, felted background on them. I actually, believe it or not, used to own uh, some of these coasters back in the 90s. So they're a little reminiscent, uh, and those will be included. Uh, I might have to start ma uh, merging sets together, so maybe there'll be a coaster collection, and that'll go into part of that. Uh, there's adorable little uh, figurine of a dog. Um, admittedly, I'm not 100% sure what kind of dog he is supposed to be. Um, yeah, I don't know what he's supposed to be. So he's cute. So if you know the breed, put it in the comments because some people have been very helpful uh, showcasing or giving me information uh, and identifying a lot of the pieces that I've had. So this one, yeah, I'm not, I'm not even, I don't think he's a terrier. Yeah, I'm not even like sure on the breed, uh, but he's a great looking piece, nice piece of pottery and uh, in great shape. So he will definitely be added to the uh, live sale. Uh, this lusterware piece is fantastic. A little trinket dish. There's no divots or anything, so I don't think it's an ashtray. I think it's really just a ring dish or a, a pin pin tray. And this is another one that the dog... Yeah, not really sure on him either. Let's see, you got a little kind of a stubby tail. Yeah, I don't know. So I need help. I need, need help with him as well. Uh, so this one's a Made in Japan piece. Uh, great, again, great condition, no chips, no cracks. So I'd love to be able to add him into the collection. So he'll be part of the live sale. And then I'm super excited about these because I'm actually planning a deep dive of these at some point, uh, a collection that I already have, because a lot of people don't know what these are. And so, you know, do you give yourself a little mental test? I'll open these up really quick. This is, see, this is why I don't do shopping videos because I cannot hold the camera and look at things at the same time. Uh, so these are uh, little cards. You can see kind of the size of my fingers. They're smaller than a business card, about half the size of a business card. This one has whippets on it. This one has Irish wolfhounds. Hey, maybe if I read these cards, I'll be able to tell what the breeds are of the other items. Uh, so if you don't know by the size, when I flip them over, you'll probably figure it out because it'll probably say. So these are part of the second series of dogs in a series of 50. And they're part, issued by the Imperial Tobacco Company of Canada, printed in England. And England is where a lot of these cards come from. So I actually have a collection of uh, these. They're typically considered called cigarette cards. And they would literally come in a pack of uh, cigarettes. And, you know, just like this one, uh, they did a, at least one other series. But this is a series of 50. Irish Wolfhounds happens to be number 50. Uh, just like any other collection, you'd have to buy enough cigarettes to fill the entire series. So, And then let's see, these were the Whippets. Whippets were 49, so they might even be in order. Um, so uh, there was a little note here. Did it say it was a complete set? 
Well, at one point they were being sold for $2.99 each, and that does sound about right. The little orange set actually does say it's a complete set, and it was sold for $51. Um, I don't know if they still are retaining that level, uh, but you don't come across full sets all that often. A lot of times you just find them one at a time. Uh, I've been visiting the Antique Nomad. He had... Uh, some some cigarette cards, but they weren't complete series. And I think he was even selling them for a couple bucks a piece. So uh, they do add up when you do a full series. So I'm not sure the best way that these will sell. I might even keep these until after I do my deep dive and then sell them and then still give the money to the Just One More Ducks and Rescue. I want to make sure I'm getting as much money as possible. So we may need to educate uh, people to know what they are and be able to show the whole thing. But so these are super fun because they're, I don't come across them often and only once or twice have I come across them in the wild. Um, the ones I have, I've ordered uh, online. So these are a great addition. And so this is a great uh, look at what Vintageris has sent for the sale. Let's see what else we've got. This next collection of items was sent to me by Jeannie from Norma Jean Plus One uh, Vintage. She has her own live sales and I had picked up a couple of items from her during the live sale. And since she was already sending me a package, she tucked in some items that I could use uh, either for myself to resell or what I do with anything that's given to me as a gift. Uh, I'm just using it to sell in the uh, fundraiser. So uh, this will this is a little uh, skill game which I suck at uh, that involved this little ball that you had to try and tilt to follow the track. Yeah, I'm already out. But again, I'm trying to hold the camera and do this at the same time. So I know I already have a series of toys and games. So I'll probably be doing some mixed lots uh, and mixing these together because I'm telling you right now, I went to the post office to pick up shipments, uh, pick up my you know packages, and they glared at me because I hadn't been there in a week and the number of packages that I've received from don from generous donors it's an embarrassment of riches and it filled the backseat of my car. Um, so there's a lot that we're going to go through and are going to have to be a lot to sell. So we'll probably mix some things together just uh, so the sale doesn't last eight hours, but we'll figure the best way. And every little bit is going to help and get some great things into uh, the fundraiser. This is probably another one that will get mixed in. I had done a deep dive with Laura Bemos, who is also donating items for the fundraiser. Uh, and this is a set of dominoes, so that might get mixed in uh, with some games. Uh, she knows that I love all things Austrian, and although I think you know she offered this as a gift to me, which I think is super uh, nice, gracious, and appreciative, I don't need uh, collect to start a new collection. And so again, gifts that I receive, if it's not specifically something I need or want for my collection, that makes me sound kind of selfish. Uh, I want to. I don't want to sell it for my own profit because it was a gift. Uh, so I will sell it as part of the live sale. And so it is a great piece of porcelain. I can't remember whose this was, uh, Bavarian, oh, Schumann, uh, Artsburg, Germany. So a uh, great Mozart plate, and uh, hopefully he'll, you know, he'll be, be a great addition to the fundraiser. A uh, pair of ashtrays. Uh, there will be a couple other ashtrays. I might do a mixed uh, tobacco lot. Uh, so these two, uh, we've got a made in Japan, and this one was made in Germany. So we've got... Um, some great quality porcelain, hard paste porcelain ashtrays, a uh, great book, um, Russian reading and conversation, which again, because I, I have explained that I've got a Russian background and I had a Russian minor and do enjoy Russia quite a bit. My uh, Russian skills have, uh, diminished quite a bit. So this will be an item that I think is just kind of a cool, uh, something different that for someone who knows the Russian language might enjoy the book itself, or it also has a great graphic on the front would make a fantastic addition uh, and coloration for a, a vignette or, or a, uh, use it as a riser in a display. Uh, so that'll be added probably into a mixed lot. And then another piece of Russian uh, Kokloma uh, lacquerware. Uh, this is actually a really nice piece. I don't know if she typically sells this or not. We'll see if we can get it to focus with only one hand, there we go, uh, because it actually does still have the original sticker on it showing it is from the Soviet Union. So we definitely have some age on this piece. 
you know, still something that was very popular for tourist wear, but you're dealing with tourist wear from the Soviet Union as opposed to a more contemporary piece uh, post 90s. So uh, this may stand alone. I might have one other piece of Kikloma that I could actually add to it. I'll have to check my inventory because uh, I will obviously be making donations as well. Uh, so this, again, will be a great addition to the fundraiser from Norma Jean Plus One Vintage. Check out her live sales. As I mentioned, showing Norma Jean's items, uh, you know, I do receive gifts uh, that people say, hey, if you don't want it, go ahead and resell it. Items that, again, I feel guilty trying to make money off of somebody's uh, generosity. So I'm moving them into the uh, fundraiser. And these are some items uh, that are included in that um, philosophy. So these two uh, came as a result of my daughter and I visiting Tim at Over the Years. Uh, he donated, well, he offered these to my daughter and I as gifts, uh, but we are then taking those gifts and moving them into the fundraiser. So I've got these two horse brasses, a uh, really nice weight uh, heart, and then this little tr uh, triplet. Um, I don't know if those are supposed to be horse hooves or horseshoes, kind of weird shape for horseshoes. Um, but he had the bows put on them as Christmas decorations, so it's a great time to be able to sell those. So those will be sold in the fundraiser. And then I had participated in a live sale uh, for Fat Bird Finds, and there was some confusion in the chat, and Carrie Costa picked up a, a, a batch or a set of these owl mugs. And uh, because of the confusion, she offered, uh, she sent one to me, and I, although I greatly appreciate that, I would have bought them to resell anyway. So with the gift, I'm going to take this owl mug and I'm going to move this into the fundraiser. And this will be used to ma make money for just one more Dachshund Rescue. So as I indicated with the owl mug that Carrie Costa from KCATX uh, donated, not everything was coming from resellers. Some of them were simply viewers that uh, wanted to support the Dachshund Rescue. And believe it or not, this all of these items were donated by one person, Debbie from Chicago. Luckily, Debbie is local to me, so I was able to go and pick all of these items up but she outdid herself with both the quantity and quality of items that she's donating to the fundraiser. Uh, just, you know, doing a really quick skim over all of these. You've got this great uh, Lefton bowl and pitcher set, and it's a nice, it's a nice size. I've carried some of the miniature ones. This is actually um, a much, you know, a larger size than that. So this is a really substantial piece. A display box with a music box in it. It's got a mirrored base so you can, um, the lid comes off, comes up, and you can uh, put displays in there. Uh, an item that admittedly, had it not come with a box, I would have thought it was um, something else. Uh, so this is a Thomas Party Schnapps pipe. I never knew such a thing existed. Love the Germans. And uh, yes, it is a Schnapps pipe, and we're going to go with that. A uh, little two-piece uh, candle, uh, not quite a fairy light, but the uh, blue satin glass on the frosted um, satin. And the base, a great little cruet set, uh, a incense burner, a nice heavy cast incense burner made in Japan. Uh, we've got the poodle on the box uh, with the uh, little bit of an iridescence to the glass. We've got a poodle. This happens to be the Harris Lion Bank, uh, Harris Lion from Harris Bank. Uh, which was actually a Lefton piece. I didn't realize that Lefton made this. I've seen this a lot because Harris is a Chicago company. Um, so it's great to see that in such great condition. She found some coasters for me uh, with the matching placemats. And these are actually Pimpernel still in their original boxes. So that's fantastic. Some uh, Pocahontas uh, uh, tumblers. A great deco frame with a uh, picture of Ben Crosby in there. A uh, nice music box with Mickey Mouse, uh, some modern uh, scent bottles, uh, jeweled scent bottles, one with the frog on the lily pad that kind of has a, a rubber stopper that lifts completely out. And the jeweled crown is more of a, it screws off and then has like a little scent applicator. A uh, little porcelain elf on a planter. And shockingly, all of the flowers are in absolutely perfect condition. Those are almost always damaged in some way. So she found some great quality pieces. An egg cuber, which I still quite haven't quite mastered what that is. 
Uh, so it's something with an egg that squats it down. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you know, if you want uh, flattened eggs, you've got this vintage uh, kitchen gadget, and everyone loves gadgets. A great Burmese Fenton glass vase. Get the big tag out of the way. So you got the basket weave, and it still has the original Fenton label on it. Uh, Bailey's um, creamer. And I guess the sugar, I don't know why Bailey's would have a sugar, um, but the winking design, but that one doesn't have a handle. So I'm assuming it's a creamer and sugar together. These vintage ashtrays are absolutely fantastic. I'd seen the pelicans before, but I'd never seen the donkeys. So you've got these uh, great little aluminum ashtrays in fantastic condition in two different forms. So those again might be added to a tobacchiana lot great pair of uh, uh, porcelain salt and pepper shakers and this really cool um, it's a reproduction piece but a really nice looking photo frame with a really nice heavy uh, cover with the gilding and then a place for a photograph in there so all of these came from debbie from chicago and uh, very grateful and we'll have uh, these will bring quite a few dollars into the fundraiser for just one more dachshund rescue this next donation comes to us via Rebecca at Kitchy and Bitchy. Uh, some of you might know or remember Rebecca from my Swizzle Stick uh, deep dive as well as some of my live sales. So she has found uh, some great pieces from her own uh, resale business and is offering them up for the fundraiser. This great wooden plaque, uh, which has been carved out uh, to have the kind of the backings been carved down. Uh, to show the two silhouettes of the dogs. I also have one of these, so I might uh, combine that with this one, so I'm selling them as a pair. Uh, we've got a great uh, porcelain, uh, that one I'm pretty sure is a collie, uh, made in Brazil. Uh, porcelain figure of a little girl with a... <sighs> Spaniel, maybe? Uh, that's uh, unmarked, uh, but a great looking piece. Uh, a pair of uh, Lilies of the Valley um, salt and pepper shakers, a uh, great pink ground with the white Lilies of the Valley um, flowers on there. I've never seen anything like this. There's There are two pieces, both marked Made in Japan. Uh, these three Scotty dogs uh, kind of all on this little plate and then kind of a similar material this Scotty popping out of a top hat. I don't know if they're necessarily designed to go together, but they're all marked made in Japan, so they're of the same era and uh, appears to be of the same material. Although the bottom of this, I think, is metal and the hat is plastic. I don't think it's Bakelite. I have to figure that one out. Um, I tipped over the Airedale. I think that's what that is. Uh, definitely a terrier um, porcelain piece that does not appear to be stamped, but I would say is definitely made in Japan. This one I was proud of myself because I'm pretty sure this is a Shiba, well, it's either a Shiba Inu or an Akita uh, marked in Japan. I recognize that curly tail, and I was going to say it's Shiba Inu, but as I picked it up, it, that curly tail might be the Akita, so I don't remember. So again, help me out uh, recognizing that one. And then this gold uh, luster piece. <sighs> I don't think he's a beagle because he's got a, a cropped tail. So I'm not sure what that makes this one. He also appears to be unmarked, but definitely a Japan piece um, with the gold accents with the luster wear body. So these are some awesome pieces that will also be included in the Just One More Docks and Rescue fundraiser November 12th from Kitchy and Bitchy. This next package is also an absolute treasure trove, uh, this time from Karen Dondelinger, which you may recognize her name from a lot of the live sales. Uh, she participates in many of them, uh, but she's also been building up inventory because she is announcing her own uh, new business, uh, Sunny's Vintage Surprises. I think she will be on uh, eBay, if I remember correctly. So she is starting her own resale business, and she put uh, this package together of some great pieces. So we've got a really nice size uh, porcelain poodle uh, that does have a uh, numbered stamp on him, but the any other sort of markings are 
they're no longer there, but definitely has some age to that piece. Uh, copyrighted 1961 edition of The Incredible Journey, uh, which was gifted to someone in 1988. This very cool uh, dachshund. I want to say, I, I don't know if it's maybe for a scrapbook because it's sticky on the back. So I think the idea is you it's not magnetic that you would actually stick this maybe onto something, uh, but you've got the cool uh, metallic dachshunds on there. We've got the variation of the wolf, uh, which I believe this is resin, but it's got a really cool uh, design on the back of the sun and the moon. Great little poodle uh, decorative plate pin pin dish. Some wonderful stuffed items, from including one from the Lady in the Tramp, uh, 101 Dalmatians. I have a little figurine from Lady in the Tramp as well that I had been donated from... Fatbird Finds uh, had already donated. I did a video with those items earlier, so I might combine the all the uh, Lady and the Tramp items together. Uh, absolutely adorable uh, Dachshund calendar, 2021 calendar. And then this amazing collection of small brooches and pins that are all dog-themed. A lot of poodles. I can't remember if Karen herself has a poodle. Uh, but some great poodles. Uh, you got a dachshund in there. Uh, my personal favorite, McGruff the crime dog. You got Snoopy. This is one that I really liked as well. It's like a little sake cup, but it's got a dog painted onto it. And I've never seen uh, one of these little port pottery pieces painted like that with a dog. Um, so I just thought that was really cute. So this is just, again, some amazing pieces and ASPA PCA note, uh, note cards. A poodle uh, decorative plate. So again, a great collection from Karen Dondelinger from Sunny's Vintage Surprises. So definitely be supporting her. And I will have all of the notes of all of the donors uh, because some of the items have already been packed up that were donated earlier. So I need to make sure that I'm keeping a running total of all of the donations. But these are the ones from Karen Dondelinger of uh, Sunny's Vintage Surprises. So just to give you a little idea, there's the packing materials for everything I've received that I just covered in this video. So we've got a lot of stuff that's gonna be going back out as well. Um, but again, I'm super grateful to all of my friends and uh, some people I've never even met who are participating and supporting this fundraiser. Thank you so much. If you see anything on here, um, I'm very getting, I'm getting concerned at this point that this sale is gonna be eight hours long. Uh, so I will start merging things together, but I'm not doing this as an auction. I'm still not confident on the legalities of them because this is not my charity. Um, so we're doing the drawing for the um, mystery boxes that is actually go running through the charity directly. So I just want to be sensitive and not put the charity at any risk because it's based in a different state than I am. So everything will be sold outright. So if there's something that you're interested in, unless I do specifically have it designed to go into a bigger package, uh, like all of the Lady in the Tramp items or something like that, uh, if you're interested in one of the individual items, let me know. We'll work out the price, and then whatever I sell in advance, that money will be announced as part of the donation that goes to just one more dachshund rescue. So uh, it's not like it's a bidding situation. So if I sell something in advance, um, if you're seeing the video, you know, I guess kind of first comes first serve to a certain extent, and we'll see how that goes. If I have to cut it off, I don't want to give sell everything in advance. But there's, as you can see, a lot here. Uh, and this did not include the items that I'm donating. And it doesn't include the couple of boxes I already have upstairs of people that had already donated earlier. So there's going to be plenty uh, to go around during the during the fundraiser. So if you saw this, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you get excited for the fundraiser and hope you participate. Uh, if you want to get something in advance, drop me a comment or send me an email. Uh, definitely participate in the live sale itself on Thursday, November 12th at 8 p.m. Eastern. And uh, make sure you're watching for other videos and posts. I have some a uh, post up on my Instagram page already for the actual chance to get, at this point, we are up to 27 mystery boxes will be donated from 27 different resellers who've all agreed to uh, give ship directly to the winner 
uh, a mystery box of their own definition. Uh, it might be a signed picture of themselves. It could be a box as great as some of the things that I showed you here. Uh, no rules, but you'll get 27 of them, if not more. Uh, and you get a chance uh, at that drawing for every $5 donation you give to the Just One More Docs and Rescue. And that's money that goes directly to them. So I will put the link to their PayPal account in the comment section or in the notes for the video so you can start doing that. They will be collecting all of that money in advance and also during the sale itself. And the drawing will take place live on air on Thursday, November 12th. Uh, for the giveaway currently of 27 mystery boxes. So there are some great opportunities for dog lovers, for vintage lovers, whatever the case may be. I really hope this is a great event. Really hope you'll participate. And I really appreciate you putting your trust in Trusty Huckster. Bye-bye.